Okay, good morning everybody, and what is today's topic on coffee and questions? Well, we were talking on the forum about ways you can organize your tools inside of your toolbox that you have in your garage, and a guy came up with a pretty good idea that he found on Amazon. So I'm going to change the picture here. I'm going to show you a tool organizer that he found on Amazon. It seems to be a fairly good deal. I mean, you can buy them, and it seemed to help out quite a bit in terms of keeping his tools and everything nice and straight inside of his box. So let me change the picture, and I'll show you both of them, and we'll see what everybody thinks. Give me just a sec. Okay, let's talk about this one first. It's made by Ernest Manufacturing. Its capacity is to hold 10 pliers or wrenches or tools of your choice. You know, it could be aviation, snips, whatever, like it shows in the picture. And you can set this in your toolbox and it keeps them nice and aligned straight across top to bottom. Now, it also depends on your drawers, okay, and what drawer you're going to put them in. And I'll explain to you that in a minute. But the measurements are right here. And I'm going to change the picture. I'm going to show you one other one that's manufactured a little bit better, but it's also a little bit more costly. Give me one second. We'll go back and forth here on the pictures, and I'll explain to you some do's and don'ts. Okay. Okay, here's the other one made by Ulsa Tools. It's a 12-piece, and it's made out of anodized aluminum. And then, so this one is a little bit better constructed and made. And you can see right here, it'll hold all 12. You put them in the same way. And kind of like it says here in the description, it is made out of better quality materials. Now, both of them have got four and a half star rating. They got good reviews on both of these. But this one, like I said, is made out of that anodized aluminum. The other one is not. It's made out of plastic and rubber, or thick plastic and rubber. But it also got the four and a half star rating. Let's go to coffee questions, and I'm going to put these side by side. And I'll answer them for you, and we'll try to figure out what's the better deal here. Okay, I kept both the sales up here on the screen so you could see them on the left, but over here on the right. Now, if you go to the upper right, this is showing you the one made by Ernest Manufacturing at $14.99. The same one below it, and it shows you how the guy has set his pliers into his tool chest. And then the other one right above my head here is showing you more of a close-up of what you can do and how you can organize your tools. So it's a pretty slick thing to put inside of your toolbox to keep things nice, neat, and organized. And I'm taking a look at the price here. They both get four and a half stars. I've read through all the reviews. They both seem to be a good deal. It just depends on if you want one that's got better material and it's probably going to last you a whole heck of a lot longer, which is the anodized. But at $22, I take a look at the one above. At $15, you could buy two of these. So you're going to do it for roughly, roughly $30, bucks, let us say. So you're adding just a little bit more on top of that one tray, which is made by Ulsa. So initially i could sit and tell you hey get the one up above at 14.99 but i want to go to the questions and answers off of the forum and maybe we can make a little bit better determination on which one is going to suit you better okay now one of the first questions is you know how deep of a drawer do you have to have well you have to have a four inch deep drawer or height in order to set these in there because of the way that they're made now the one on earnest manufacturing up here at 14.99 it's made out of real thick plastic, and the base of this thing is rubber. So I would tell you, make sure your drawer depth is four inches, but also make sure whatever you're going to set in there as a tool doesn't stick up too high either, or you're not going to be able to fit them into the drawer the way that you want it. So those are the first things I would tell you to consider. Actually, when you're looking at either one of these, you should think about that. Okay, another question is, well, what if my drawer isn't four inches? What if it's a little bit shorter than that? Now, the nice thing about these thick plastic ones made by Ernest Manufacturing, and I read this on the website where the guy took a pair of aviation snips, and if you look at the picture right above my head, that upper piece of plastic, he just cut it, and uh, he just cut it straight across or cut it down, and then that'll reduce the height requirement that you need to put it inside of the drawer, but you still got to measure the height of the tools because you're not going to be able to set like great big, you know, like thick channel locks or something in there without it obstructing it when you shut it. So you have to keep those things in mind. Now, I don't have that problem because for something that big, I would just lay them in the drawer. But for my needle nose, my cutters, my pliers and all this other stuff, you know, they would work fine. Now, the one advantage you have to the Ulsa one down here, if you go that route and you pay the $21.99, um, they have adjustable separators. Those separators there that you see, you can adjust them, you know, in or out and you for, you know, wider or fatter tools. That is an advantage. 
Um, what are the dimensions on the base? Well, I looked it up. I mean, on the Ulsa, it's 12 inches by three and a half inches by two and seven eighths high. I would wait. If you want the Ulsa, I would wait until they go on sale. Otherwise, the full retail is $21.99. Uh, I don't know how often they go on sale, but if if you wanted the better ones, that's what I would do is wait for the sale price. Otherwise, I would go with the above ones because I think at 15 bucks a piece, it's a pretty good deal and it's nice to have this for your uh, your tool chest. Um, somebody noted on the also ones that the separators are hard to adjust. I don't consider that too much of a negative because I don't want them slopping and flopping around anyway. So, I mean, once you got them set the way you want for the particular tool, to me, that's not that big of a negative if they're a little bit hard to adjust. Okay, let me show you a couple other pictures of, uh, that I pulled off of the forum to show you what other people have done with these. Give me just a sec. Okay, what I did on the very upper right is I exploded the one that is in the advertising off of Amazon so you could see the layout that he used with the 1499 ones. Now take a look just right here above my head to the right. This is a close-up of another one of the pictures where it shows he's laid them in his tool drawer. So you can do like above, if you've got a big enough drawer, you can put them across the back, you can put them across the front, and you can keep one heck of a lot of tools very well organized. Okay, so this has been kind of like your quick tip of the day. I'm gonna order these myself. I think that this is a pretty slick thing. I'm gonna get two of them to begin with because I like the way that the guy did it in the upper picture on the right. He's got them nice and spaced across the front and the back, like I was saying. And if you take a look, you can put anything in there from screwdrivers to pliers to wrenches aviation snips channel locks all this stuff but again i caution you about one thing look at your drawer height okay make sure you got four inches of clearance if you don't and you still want them just keep in mind on the plastic which is good you can cut that top down to accommodate you know your drawer height but then you have to worry about your tool height and make sure they're not going to exceed that four inches and in mine, I've got a home ec toolbox, a big one, so I'm not going to have that problem I already measured. Okay, this was your quick tip of the day. I'm the home handyman. If you like the review, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and stay with me, and I will keep doing more videos on how-to and tool reviews. You folks have a good day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.